Today we are randomly enough going to see an Irish hockey match. The Irish women's hockey team are playing in the forest just like literally across the road from us so um, we just decided to go and see them play. It's a World Cup qualifier I think. Michal just was going to the shop this morning and as he walked into Albert Hine he saw the players, <laughs> he saw the players outside the shop or inside the shop or something and uh, when he came back we looked it up and yeah turns out they're playing so we're gonna go see that. I obviously I'm wearing orange, which is technically the Netherlands colour. They're not playing the Netherlands, they're playing Chile, but the Netherlands are playing, I think, after them or something. But I have a green or I have a green jumper that um I'm gonna be putting on. So don't worry, I'm still supporting my country, unlike some people. Okay, we're walking in now. Probably set up actually, this is probably a bigger event than I realised. There's no one here now because like in fairness I suppose there won't be that many Irish ones travelling over from Ireland to come and see this because it's only like a first round oh I don't know what it is but it's a small like it's a world cup qualifier but it's like first round or something or second round yeah. although it did say I looked it up this morning and it did say in the news write up that it was a very important game but Chile are ranked like bottom like in the world I think or bottom in the competition we'll say so I don't know if many Irish people are going to come travelling over to see it, but we're here. I'm dressed in my green. My hall is too cool to wear his uh, Irish gear. Do you want to tell us about your new jacket? <laughs> I've an episode of getting... I better get out the tickets. Might be able to get it. Tell me what the rules of hockey are right now. Um, I don't know. It's not as good as Harlem, that's the only thing you need. I was wrong about there being no Irish fans here. Yeah. We accidentally bought really bad seats, but there's not that many people here. Like the capacity of the stadium is 9,000. There's not 9,000 people here, so we're hoping we can like weasel our way in to the proper stand. Also, like when I was reading about it, it said the match was at one o'clock, so we came for one o'clock. But uh, I was reading an RTE article, like so it was one o'clock Irish time, and that's two o'clock here. So. Oh. There's fucking wasps everywhere. So we have just had nothing to do for the last hour because we came an hour early. So people are starting to arrive now though. So. The hour, come the and the glory. We have come to answer our country's call. Nella. Look at the size of this plane coming. Jeez. Amsterdam because well because we live here but also because uh, Harry Styles is playing in the Ziggo Dome tomorrow we still don't have tickets so I've decided to come into Amsterdam to find him to ask him for tickets <laughs> hopefully that will work all work out and we'll be in the Ziggo Dome tomorrow night at the Harry Styles concert uh, because we've been trying all morning and all yesterday morning on ticket swap to get tickets and it's just not working like if anyone knows what the story is with ticket swap please let me know because that site is a scam although we did get our Coldplay tickets on ticket swap that's a story for another day I'll tell you about Coldplay a different time Emma doesn't think that I will like this cold cherry flavour I'm about to prove her wrong <laughs> 
It's not even Coke Zero if you look at it. Are right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually alright. It's actually okay. He's lying. Um, okay, I'm not going to taste it. Okay, well, just just in, just to give some context, this is the same man who well, the last time we were in Amsterdam, or two times ago when we were in Amsterdam, just so that just so that he could prove me wrong, he ate a full tub. You know, Michal has IBS. He ate a full tub, family sized tub of Ben and Jerry's that he bought in Albert Heim because I told him he wasn't going to finish it if he bought it and then he got really sick afterwards so that is the length that Michal will go to in order to not be proven wrong Try it. Yeah. No Can you not see where I'm coming from? Michal It's disgusting, it tastes like Dr Pepper Are you going to drink that? Yeah, that's nice <laughs> It is nice He's lying You're lying Pull a bear and see what happens. Will I? Do I have to buy it if I pull it? It's a bit of an arrow. Oh, maybe. Try it out. Try this one. Please. You come here if you're hungry. Oh, yeah. It tastes like um, special K red berries. That's what's in it. The chocolate is actually really nice. Um, probably not. I'm I'm really just going through the motions here, so I, I'm not going to buy it realistically. But <laughs> we are in Burger Bar because we're both starving. We just walked around Amsterdam for about four hours looking for a restaurant to eat in. And Michal is a picky eater, so he's just ruined everything basically. And now we're in Burger Bar waiting. Well, no, we're not waiting. We didn't order yet actually. And then we're going to go and see Elvis again later because uh, we went to see it already and it was so good. If you've seen it, you know, because there's actually nothing else in the cinema at the moment. The, the movies are very poor. The food, that one for me. <laughs> Wait, what burger? Um, the real bite. This is with everything in it, I never do this. It's because you shove the camera in my face. So nice. So nice. I'm glad we went. So, nice. so full. I give it. 8.5 um, Good for the price I'm so fucking full Service was good and uh, the burger was nice <laughs> We're just out of the cinema after seeing Elvis for the second time It was just as good as the first time If Austin Butler does not get an Oscar for his role as Elvis then I think the Oscar should be boycotted because Or Tom Hanks No I don't agree about Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks but Austin Butler Genuinely, there, there's nothing more he could have done. He was literally perfect for that role. A masterclass in acting. Uh, he started with like, he wasn't even a Disney kid. Like, he he, he, show, he showed up in tiny bits of episodes. Like, that's how yeah. crap he was back then. Yeah. For He came from humble beginnings, but he's made it now. And he's definitely made more of a mark than a lot of other Disney stars, no disrespect to Disney stars. But in the middle of the movie, in the middle of the movie, my, like an alarm started going off on maybe my phone, but it was on a few phones, it wasn't just mine. And I opened my phone and it's a freaking emergency alert. And um, this big paragraph, and like, I was in Dutch, so I didn't know what it said. And like, I was panicking, like I thought there was like, I don't know, something awful after happening. No, something awful did happen, but uh, I thought it was like maybe a shooting or something. But uh, and then my 3G wouldn't work, so I couldn't translate it for ages. But eventually I translated it and it turned out like there was like a fire. And we're in Amsterdam, but it was quite far away from us. But the alert was like just saying, oh, there's been a fire, avoid the area because of the smoke. But oh, we got a fright, didn't we? 
yeah, it, yeah it was really scary because we came here when we came here first like the first day we came there was an emergency alert that day as well but it was just a test but uh this time it wasn't a test there actually was an emergency uh so it was pretty scary because the alarm started going off like but yeah if anybody who's watching was thinking of going to see elvis but they weren't sure definitely go it's just something about it it's just a really good movie like we've seen it twice now and i probably would go and see it a third time the music's good as well you see so that obviously makes it better apologies for the sound because it's really windy so if you can't hear me properly that's why today we are visiting zandam which uh, is a city or town not sure again whether it's a city or not but it's just right beside amsterdam but yeah we just decided to visit it today it's actually like nearly five o'clock <laughs> it's nearly five o'clock uh we just had a bit of a lazy morning well i actually cleaned the kitchen so we both had our own struggles this morning <laughs> looks pretty cute so far there it's basically i just they have this like really cool like house thing i'll show you there in a second i just wanted to see it in person We've been here probably less than five minutes, um, but as we'll show you now, like the way the buildings are, well in this area anyway, and it's just, it's reminding me of like a cat, a cat in the hat, like that film, or like a Dr. Seuss vibe thing. What's the word? Like nearly animated or something? Like of the greenhouses and stuff. It just looks like something from like a different, like a different world or something but it's i'd say it's literally just this section yeah it's worth it it's actually worth a visit just to see these like little green house house things and some of them are also blue um <laughs> i'm jumping over these rocks because my heart won't do it because it's too much of a wolf and he's just so, so concerned about what people think about him all the time. Ready? <coughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> Why didn't you walk back on them? Because <laughs> <laughs> you were embarrassed, was it? No, because it was her turn. Oh no, don't do that. He's gonna fall in, Minor. <gasps> no, please be careful, you're gonna push him in, you're gonna push him in. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh he's targeting someone else. Your man doesn't know he's there at all. <laughs> 